Um, I think that uh, if you're going to be selling into the U.S. markets, enterprise or consumer, you actually have to be bi-coastal, which is one of my bullet points on my, my list here. Don't set up shop in both places because that is too expensive. You know, you've got to decide, is it New York or is it West Coast? And basically it is, where are your buyers, right? It's, it's not where are, who's going to buy the company, it's where are your customers. And it's more strategic partners, right? So if you're FinTech or if you're digital media or consumer play, New York might actually be better. If it's, uh, if it's an enterprise uh, 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 solution, um, probably software, not hardware, or a device company, uh, that's uh, looking uh, to sort of be branded and uh, partner through certain retail channels. You could be either place, West Coast or East Coast. Actually, enterprise is more West Coast. Um, you've got to decide, and actually a way to kind of determine that is look at your customers, look where your competitors are, look where, uh, where it is likely that there's a fit between your profile direct customer first, all right? And there is a difference between East and West. And, and that's where you decide to, to go. Now, it's easier to be in New York, maybe because it's closer. Um, the costs are the same, uh, east and west coast, so that you don't get a price break uh, either, either way. I would say this, uh, just my observation. I'm from New Jersey, so I know New York pretty well, and I live west coast, right? Um, and it, I just talk to a lot of folks. And so the perception is that in New York, people aren't as visible about what they're doing. They'll go to meetups, they'll go to groups like this, and they'll listen. And you go to them and say, so what are you doing? They won't tell you. They'll tell you, but they won't really tell you, right? So, so West Coast is totally different. It's uh, it's more of a community where people are trying. You know, you don't you don't get unless you give, right? And if you tell people I'm doing this and I'm actually struggling with this, and I'm looking for a guy that does this, they'll help you out. They will. That's great. You know. So it's a different different mindset, East and West Coast, uh, uh, and that's reflected a bit actually in the way that financings are done East and West Coast. So the terms are tougher in New York, just so you know. And I can tell you specifically what terms of investment would be different, you know, different sort of regionally. But also, uh, the venture community in New York's done very well, but they don't syndicate as much as the West Coast firms do. In the West Coast firms, there's more volume, there's more mass, and there's more of a sharing of syndicate and deals east, on West Coast and East Coast. But my point is totally different, which is, um, you've got to set up shop in one of those two communities, but you actually are selling in all over, pretty much. Uh, uh, if you're if you're going to U.S. to be a regional business, you're making a mistake. But that's not that's not why you go to the U.S. You go there for the entire market as much as you possibly can. There are regional differences on buy patterns, of course, depending on the sector, but it's not significant. All right. 